Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to do a t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. First you need set the artboard for the design. Go to file, on the drop down menu select new. Set the artboard size as 4500 pixels into 5400 pixels. Set the resolution as 300 and click create. Then fill the artboard using a black rectangle. Go to the tool panel and select the rectangle tool. Or you can choose the rectangle tool by pressing M key on the keyboard. To activate the smart guides, go to the view, on the drop down menu, select smart guides. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut control plus U. To fill the black color, Go to the tool panel and double click on the fill color. Choose black color into fill color. Choose the stroke by clicking on it. Or you can toggle between fill and the stroke using keyboard shortcut X. Bring the mouse pointer to the upper left corner of the artboard. Then it'll show you the intersect point of two smart guide, which is the upper left corner of the artboard. Click on that point and drag the mouse pointer down to the left bottom corner. Now we have filled the artboard using a black rectangle. Lock the rectangle using Ctrl plus 2. This is done to avoid any movements of the black rectangle. Now I'm going to use some free downloaded stuffs from the freepick.com. It is a very useful website which offers many free resources for graphic designers. You can download any kind of graphic element from the freepick.com. Only you have to do is credit the author of the design by mentioning his design link on your artwork. I have bought a premium account on Freepick. So I have access to premium designs. Links are shown in the description below. Drag and drop necessary elements for the new design artboard. Resize them using selection tool. Go to the toolbar and select the selection tool. Or you can press V on the keyboard to get the selection tool. To resize an element, you can click on a one point of the bounding box and drag it using left mouse button. To keep the original ratio of the design, you can hold the shift key on the keyboard and drag a one point using left mouse button. Using alt plus shift on the keyboard, you can increase the size of the element proportionally in every side. Now let's create a sunset using circles and three colors. Go to the toolbar and right click on the rectangle tool. On the menu select the ellipse tool. Or you can use the shortcut key L on the keyboard. L now holding the shift key click on a one point on the artboard and drag it down until it give the necessary size. Using the spacebar while holding the shift key and the left click, you can move the circle anywhere you want. After placing the circle, fill it using an orange color, by using Swatesh's panel. To select the swatches panel, go to window, in the drop down menu select the swatches. Select the same circle, press Ctrl plus C to copy, and press Ctrl plus F to paste it forward. Then reduce the size. Select a new color. Then continue the same process for another circle. Using selection tool drag and drop the ship vector and place it like this. To get the ship forward, press shift, control plus close square bracket key. 
select the group of palm trees and drag and drop them also on the circles. Ungroup the palm tree vector and place all the palm trees within the larger circle. Then, select the set of palm trees on right hand side group them by pressing Ctrl plus G and send them back to the ship. To do that, first send the selected palm trees backward to all the layers by pressing Ctrl plus Shift and the open square bracket key. Then to take them in front of the circle, one by one, press Ctrl plus close square bracket key three times. Next we are going to add the text into the design. Go to the tool panel and select type tool. Or you can use keyboard shortcut key T to get the type tool. Then click outside the artboard. You'll get a template text called lorem ipsum. Now get the character option panel. Go to window, on the drop down menu. Go to type. On that menu, and select the character. Or you can press Ctrl plus T to get the character option panel. On that panel set the font size as 500. Select the font Bada Boom BB. Then type words and place it below the ship. Get the eyedropper tool from the toolbar. or you can press I on the keyboard. Then select the blue color on the ship using eyedropper tool. Then using good brush font create another text smaller than the first one. And place it below like this. Using eyedropper tool select yellow color from the sunset. And below that, create another text and using the same font and select the orange color from the sunset. Reduce the font size. To reduce the size of the text you can use the same way we use to reduce the size of a vector using selection tool. Now we need to outline the text. Select all the text using selection tool while pressing the shift key on the keyboard. Or you can select all the text by drawing a boundary box using the selection tool. Then go to the object, in the drop down menu select expand and click OK. Next we need to set a stroke for the blue color text to highlight it. Select the object using selection tool. Go to object. On the drop down menu, select the compound path, and then make. Or you can use the control plus 8 on the keyboard to make the object into a compound path. Again go to object. On the drop down menu select the path. On the next menu select Offset. On the Offset Path option panel tick the preview box so you can see the changes we make. Set the offset as 40 pixels. And click OK. Then fill the offset path using the same white color on the ship. 
Finally select all the palm tress in front and group them. Then select the larger circle on the sunset graphic and bring a copy of it to forward. Select the circle and the palm tree all together. And make a clipping mask. To make a clipping mask, go to object, in the drop down menu select clipping mask and make. Or you can press the shortcut key Ctrl plus 7. Then correct the position of the texts. Now unlock the black background rectangle by pressing Ctrl Alt plus 2 and hide it by pressing Ctrl plus 3. Then export the design as PNG transparent file. You can use that PNG on a t-shirt mockup to showcase your design. Thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you learned something new from the tutorial. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more for more graphic design tutorial. Keep practicing.